Hi, I'm Dr. Yvette Liu. I'm a family doctor. I went to York House from kindergarten to grade 12, and today I'd like to go over how to wear a mask safely. So we start by washing our hands with soap and water or using hand sanitizer. Make sure you clean your hands really thoroughly because we'll be touching our faces when we put on our masks. And if we have coronavirus on our hands and then we touch our eyes, nose, or mouth, then it's possible for the virus to enter our body. When cleaning your hands, you wanna wash your hands for 20 seconds and make sure you clean the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, in between your fingers, like this, and you can even clean your fingertips like this. So once your hands are clean, you can take your mask. So I have here a Hello Kitty princess mask that was made by a local family doctor. If your mask has a nose wire, then you place it over your nose and mold it to your nose bridge. And then you take the ear loops and you place the ear loops around your ears. If you have a mask with ties, then you tie the top strap first around the back of your head, and then you tie the bottom strap. If you have a mask like this one that expands, then pull the bottom of your mask down so that it is fully open and that it fits under your chin. Whatever type of mask you have, you wanna make sure that both your nose and your mouth are fully covered. Once you have your mask on, if you have a nose wire, press it again one last time to make sure that it fits the shape of your nose so that you have a good seal. Now, when you're done putting your mask on, once again, you have to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer, and then try not to touch your mask again until you're ready to take it off. If you do need to adjust your mask because it's uncomfortable, then you do have to wash and sanitize your hands again before and after touching your mask. So when you're ready to remove your mask, maybe at lunchtime, once again, you know the routine, go and wash or sanitize your hands. Now, when you remove your mask, don't touch the front of your mask. Reach back and remove your mask from behind by taking off your ear loops or untying your mask. And then you want to store your mask in a dry breathable bag, like uh, a paper bag or an envelope or even something like a fabric mesh bag that is very breathable. Don't use a plastic bag because that will make the mask retain moisture. And then after removing your mask, once again, you wanna wash and sanitize your hands. Now, if your mask gets damp or dirty, you should switch to a new mask if you have one. If you have extra masks, then you can bring uh, some spare masks to school and switch to a new one at lunchtime or when your mask gets wet or dirty. If you're using a disposable mask, then you want to throw your mask away at the end of the day. When you get home, wash your re reusable masks and your fabric storage bags with soap and hot water, and then make sure they're completely dry before using them again. Don't share your mask with others, and don't let others use or touch your mask. The most important thing to remember, if you take one thing from this video, is to remember to hand sanitize before and after touching or adjusting your mask. And then also make sure that your mask covers both your nose and your mouth. And then lastly, just a reminder to remember why we wear a mask. It helps protect the people around you from getting sick. Not for ourselves alone. Stay safe.